using open interpreter for analyzing adjusting and manipulating files locally is definitely has been definitely a game changer for me i think many people overlook open interpreter i don't know why it isn't getting enough publicity in my opinion many people in my channel viewed the task weaver tutorial that i published the other day many people i mean it's all relative but relatively to the amount of views that i'm getting on my channel the task weaver video has been getting most eyeballs while i believe that open interpreter is actually at the moment a better tool they are slightly different with the use cases but anyway long story short open interpreter is a great solution that uses gpt or whichever llm that you would like in order to write code but where this tool shines is the fact that it seamlessly integrates into your computer and it can adjust files on your system so instead of copying and pasting code and then using it in visual studio code you can just start discussing with open interpreter via the command line by the way it's very easy to install and you're good to go so basically what i wanted to show today is just a use case that i haven't already tested but I've done similar things in which I've adjusted or renamed uh, file names using Open Interpreter. And today what I want to do is I just want to take this folder, which is the Documents folder. And I want Open Interpreter to sort it out. So here it is a mess. I have many different uh, files that they are not attributed to anything. So what I'm thinking is I asking Open Interpreter just to organize this documents folder. So let's open Interpreter, Interpreter. Basically in order to have Interpreter up and running, you just need to go to the GitHub repository. I will share it in the link below. You run like pip install interpreter and then you just go to command line and write interpreter it's like the most straightforward installation ever let's just use some sort of api let's copy this guy 20 this v2 we paste the OpenAI API key and we're good to go. So basically Open Interpreter asked me what I would like to... Uh, first of all, you need to approve the code to run locally. So let's do Interpreter. Interpreter. Why? Inter Okay, now let's paste OpenAI. Can you help me with reorganizing the documents folder? Path is so I'm just giving it the path to the documents folder. Let's see what is happening. So sure, I can help you with that. Could you please provide more details on how we, you would like to reorganize the documents folder? For example, do you want to sort files by type, dates, size, or name? Or do you want to move certain files to specific files, subfolders? So I'd like to have zero files in the main folder meaning I would like you to loop through all files and organize them in subfolders understood to clarify how would you like the files to be organized within these subfolders should they be sorted by file type by date 
year or some other criteria. Let's say file type. Let's go with file types. And obviously, this isn't a huge amount of files, but imagine you had a very big amount of files that you need to sort them out. So this is where this shines. First, we'll get a list of all the files. Next, we'll identify the file types. Then we'll create a subfolder for each type. And finally, we'll move each file into corresponding subfolders. Okay. So it wrote the code, it ran the code. Great, we have successf sex successfully retrieved the list of all files and folders in the documents. Now let's move to step two. And you can see it does this on its own. Running the code. Just so you see, like I have some documents, some Excel files, some PDF, some shortcuts, some JPEGs. Great, we have successfully identified the file type for each and stored them in a direction, then the dictionary. Now let's move on to step three, creating a subfolder for each file. Let's see. And again, this is just a simple use case. And I'm, I'm not sure if it will work, but I'm assuming it will work. And this is just shows you like the power of open interpreter. And obviously, if you have more interesting use cases, you should leverage it. I just want to show you to show you like a demonstration short video. I haven't found an extremely interesting use case just yet mainly for doing this type of manual work. I mean, saving me from doing manual work. And also I've used Open Interpreter to analyze GitHub repositories that I had locally. Or I also used it to look for errors in code in a specific repository that I had. As you can see now, it is actually moved all the files, created them. Great, we have successful, successfully moved each file into its corresponding subfolder in the documents directory. Now your documents directory should be organized by file type with each file in a subfolder that corresponds to, it, to its type. Let's check. Wow, this is so nice. So you see CSVs, docx, JPEGs, MP3s, text files, Excel macros, Excel files, PDFs, photos, and that was so fast. Now let's finish off. Okay, I think, I mean, that's it for today. To be honest, I just wanted to record a short video and show you how Open Interpreter can move files around locally and is very efficient very easy to install and very fast i think it's i mean in my opinion it's the most powerful one of the most powerful tools out there at the moment for sure it's underutilized i'm planning uh, to investigate and research more about use cases and of open interpreter if you have any ideas that come to mind please let me know I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep automating.